Hello and welcome to the React Native tutorial on Flatlist, otherwise called List Views in Android and the UI Table Views in iOS. And we will be doing some filtering in the Flatlist. And we will also see what our spread operator is and how we can use it in React Native. Okay, so let's start. So if you are new to React Native, let me show you how you can install and uh, run a new application. So as you know, React Native is from Facebook. So let's go to the Facebook documentation first. So once you go there, you can see two options to install. Uh, so I followed this. First, you need to install the node and watchman. You can run these commands in the terminal. Then you need the Xcode and Cocoa ports. So if you are running Android, you need to have the Android Studio and SDK installed in your system. So after that, once you have installed Xcode, you can run this command to install Cocoa Ports and you can run this command React Native init to create a new React Native project, which will have a basic template for running a simple React Native application. Okay. And the next step is we can skip this for now and we can go inside the project and to run the application in an ios simulator we need to run this command react native run ios so once you have done that we need to open the app.js file which is the entry point of a react native application okay so let's open the project and so this is the app.js which will have the basic template and let me create a new file I'm going to name it flatlistdemo.js. Okay. Now let me import it in the app.js. Okay. Now let's create the component. So import the necessary uh, packages. And we need a view text and obviously flat list a button from react native a list item search bar from react native elements so we need to install this package so to install this so if you have already installed it will be appearing in the dependencies so i have already installed but let me show you how to install it so this is the command to install react native elements you need to go inside your project and run this command okay you can install the supporting dependencies as well okay so once you have added all the dependencies make sure you go to your project and do a npm install okay so let's go back to our flatlist demo.js and create the component so class flatlist demo extends component and we need a constructor here which will accept the properties which are the props okay called super and we need some variables for this demo so the first one is loading which is set to false and two arrays one will be used for filtering and other one is the origin array and an error and a search text okay for searching in the list view all right and another important function render which will be used to display the ui okay so right now we just have a view so the import should be flatlist demo from its path and change the view to flatlist demo. So if you run the application, you will get a debugger and I have an error here. So let's see. So I forgot to export the component. So make sure you export the components that you are using in the UI. Okay. Now let's write a function get data which is an asynchronous function so this function will be used to get the data from a url 
okay so that's a sample url which will have 10 records 10 user records so let me copy and paste it okay now set the variable loading to true okay now we will have a try catch to catch the errors and if there is some error we will set the loading to false and we have an error variable which will be set to error loading users okay and let's get the response so fetch url and the json will be response.json okay then we will have the json now let's write a new function set result which will accept the json as parameter and i'm going to call set state on the variable data so you can do it like this since we know that res is the json array or you can do it with the help of the spread operators the three dots is a spread operator the first one is the array to which you want to copy to and second one is the array which you want to copy from okay so here we have two arrays with the same data one is used for filtering and other one we will keep it as such okay and i'm setting the loading to false as well now let's call the function with the json variable okay now let's fill in the render function so i'm going to check if there is some error so i'll be showing a view let's set the style so the first property is flex which is set to one so that it will take the entire space available to it from its parent container so here it will take the entire screen and flex action column will uh, align the items inside the view one below the other and justify contents to center and align all items to center otherwise we will be showing a flat list so right now everything is empty so let's set the data for the flat list so for the data property set it to this dot state dot data and we also need a key extractor so that should be unique for each row in the flat list so let me set it to item dot id so you can see that id is unique so the next important property for a flat list is the view for each row okay so that's the render item property we need to return a view from here so that will become the view for each uh, row in the list so we are going to return a list item list item title property so let's set it to item dot name and the subtitle item dot email so you can see that both are available in our uh, record okay so let's call the get data function for that let me add the component did mount lifecycle method for this component okay all right now we have the list now let's add a search bar for this list so which will be added as a header so return a search bar so that's a built-in component with a placeholder search here okay now let's go to our flat list and the list header component is the render header so that we have our search bar now let's change the theme okay now we need to supply the value so value will be this dot state dot search so let's change that to search text so that it will be more meaningful so let me type in something in the search bar okay so that is okay but it's not filtering so let's write a new function update search with the search text as parameter 
and let me call set state on the search so search text call and search or you can just change the parameter names to search text and you can do like this so once the search text is updated in the callback for the search state we are going to check if the search text is empty then what we are going to do is so we have two arrays here right so one will be used for filtering and other one will be kept as such so uh, we'll be updating the data array because we have supplied this data variable as a source for the practice correct so here we are restoring the original data to the data variable okay so temp will have the original list of data so if the search text is empty we will be restoring the original list otherwise we are going to filter the data from the temp array and we'll be updating the data array so dot filter that will have a function which will accept each item and we are going to check if the name includes the search text then we're going to map each item we're going to pass in the id name and email from the filtered object and we will return a new object with id name and email okay so that returned list of items for each item in the filter list so that will be coming in the rendered item and that will be shown in the list okay now let me call this function in the on change text property of the search bar okay so let's see if that is working okay so the filtering is working all right so if there is some error let's change the ui so let's show a text with the error and a button with title reload and on press of the button let's call the function this dot get data so that it will reload the list so i have turned off the wi-fi now let me turn it on and click reload so it's reloading the list well, now we have a warning here so that's because the key extractor needs a string so email will work okay so that's it so the first thing we did is we get the data from the service converted it to json and populated it into the array then we filtered the array and returned the list of filtered users which is then again fed to the flat list so that will display the list okay so it's that simple so that's all in this video the source code to this demo is available in the description if you found this video useful please don't forget to like also please don't hesitate to share this video with other developers hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel also hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching see you in the next video bye